it's a look back at David Duchovny's music video for Every Third Thought. David just released his third album, Jesterland, and he joins us now. What's up, brother? Hey. Hey. Thanks for having me here. Uh, brother, it's so good to have you. I love watching you watch it. When you see it, what do you think? I don't, I don't know when I last saw that clip, if I ever saw it. So first I was just like, oh, surprised. I yeah. didn't know it ever happened. And then it was like, don't F up, don't F up, don't F up. Okay, made it through. Made it through. It's been a while since we've caught up with you. And I feel like the yeah. last time we talked, you were talking about not being that great in the kitchen. <laughs> Right, you were not being that great, and you were not that great in the kitchen. But quarantine has given us a lot of time, and I wonder, had you taken any classes? Is there a dish now that you can perform or prepare with no problem? No, the cooking did not get any better. Uh, I don't think it will. You know, you run into these people, you know, through the pandemic, whatever, and it's like, you know what? I never knew that I loved knitting. You know, I really I knit <laughs> all the time now because I took up knitting or I took up cooking. And I can tell you honestly that I, I don't love cooking. I didn't discover that. I'm just here to eat. I'm not here to prepare. <laughs> right. The Paralympics will be uh, starting tomorrow in Tokyo. And I know that through quarantine, you really kind of came through for one of the athletes who's going to be competing in Tokyo, Rudy. And I just, I'm yeah. curious how you guys got together, how you came to know him, or how you came to be led to kind of help out. Rudy... It was just weird because I, I do like uh, triathlons uh, every now and then. And I, the first one I did was in Malibu, I, I want to say in like the year 2000. And, mm -hmm. and, and at the end of it, <clears throat> this kid came up to me because he was a kid at that point on blades, you know, not not legs, but blades. Yeah. And he said, do you want you want you want to you want my autograph? You want a picture with me? And I was like, uh, OK, yeah, sure. <laughs> let's do it. So he gave me an autograph and we took a picture. And then 20 years later, 19 years later, I was looking at the New York Times and I, I read an article about this young man who was living in Southern California and a Paralympian and he didn't have a pool. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I have a pool. I have a 25 meter pool and I'm in Southern California. So why don't I just reach out to this guy? And I had my, my uh, manager, Tiffany, uh, call and reach out. And then this guy, Rudy, goes, oh, I know David. And he sends me this picture yes. from 20 years ago. Us. I had no idea it was the same kid. Wow. Well, now, but I had no idea. That's incredible. Well, listen, I, I, I think it's a perfect time to, to share with you something then pretty special. Rudy is actually in Japan right now, but he, oh, didn't, he didn't want <laughs> this moment to pass without sending you a little something. Take a look. Hey, David, Rudy here from Tokyo. I am at Yokota Air Base, and we leave tomorrow for the Paral Paralympic Village. I just wanted to give you a quick shout out and give and thank you for all the support that you've given me, letting me train in your pool. I know this journey going into Tokyo has been very challenging. I've had a lot of doubters, but you know, it really means a lot that you believed in me because look at where we're at now. We made it to Tokyo and I look forward to racing. And again, thank you for everything. Come on, right? How cool is that? Thank you. Thank you for doing that. That is awesome. That is awesome. It was good to see him. Yeah, that's great. Man, he's gonna be kick, and he's going to be kicking butt in that pool. He's no joke. What he does no. is next level. Man, I mean, if you're you're an Olympian, uh, you train hard. Hard. I mean, I thought I trained hard. He trains hard. And we're going to see what he does, man. Cannot wait to see it. Yeah. Uh, speaking yeah. of this album, though, Gesture Land. Tell me about the name of the album. This is the third time around for you. So now you're like a well-established yeah. recording artist. So now you've got, you know, you know you, things to say, life has been lived. And the, <laughs> by the third album, you're trying some new things. You know, Gesture Land just came from, uh, you know, being at home last year during the pandemic, right? And uh, it, I, all, all, all I got from the world was on my screen. And, and, and it was, everything was kind of coming in like really short, sound bites and images and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just, it was like a, a funhouse mirror of, of just like images and, and, and gestures and, and, and little, little sentences here and there. And it was just, it was very kind of disorienting after a while to, to not be connected in a human way, but just be connected through, through, through posts or little Twitters mm -hmm. or, or gestures, you know, stuff like that. So I was longing for like deeper human connection, more substantive conversation, and it was that just came out in, in that uh, title. 
you make, brother, you you know a hit. Californication, I don't know if you if you were aware how it blew up all over again during quarantine, like people re-watching the series. But, really? uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is it has been called one of the quintessential, one of the true rock and roll shows. It sounds like maybe yeah. you found your own participation in rock and roll through Hank. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd always had this idea that I should make better use of my time, um, downtime as an actor yeah. in the trailer. Uh, why don't I learn an instrument? Why am I being so lazy? I love music. Why don't I learn an instrument? So I asked Tom Kapanos, the creator, like, I think Hank should um, learn how to play guitar. And that way, uh, David will get free guitar lessons because it'll be part of... <laughs> there you go. Part of and so that's that's when I started. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are saying to me in my ear, we cannot let you go without talking about the X-Files. Do you think, is there a way or a world where there I doubt is it. yet another, right? Yet another. I, you know, like uh, Jillian has said, she doesn't want to do it, and you know, I don't. I'm, I wouldn't do it without Jillian. So I, I, that's it's it's fine. I mean, it, you know, who knows? And, and who knows that there's not like a, like a, you know, Beverly Hills nine hundred two one zero X Files, like the young the youngsters, like a new Fox Mulder and Data Scully, and, and we'll be like the grandparents in, in the wheelchair, and 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 we'll give them advice. Is somebody writing this down? Is someone writing this down? This seems this seems like <laughs> he just literally gave us the reboot. I love it. Well, man, it's so good to see you. So great to catch up with you, and congratulations on the new music. It, it really is. I mean, I couldn't believe one. It was like, what? That is David Duchovny singing this song. Look at him and loving it. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you. Take care. You as well. You can pick up David's newest album, Gesture Land, on all music streaming platforms. And the vinyl version, actually, will be available at the end of the year. Definitely check that one out.